Now we're on the products and markets section of the IBIS World Report. This section is useful for conducting market analysis on the borrower's industry and for analyzing how their strategies may fare within the current market. Here we can see the industry supply chain at the top, where you can see the major players within the supply chain. Using this supply chain, you can take a look at your borrower's contracts and clients to see which industries they interact with, and then look at those industry reports to see how they're affected by those industries. Maybe more important though are the key external drivers at the top. You can look into each one of these trends to see how they may be affecting the borrower's industry and the borrower itself. For example, we can look at number of households. Here, you'll see a write-up stating that Longer-term demographic changes, including a stronger preference for living alone, rising marriage and divorce trends have resulted in a shift towards low-density living. What this means is that the number of households in the United States has increased each year going back to 1940. So what we can get from this is that the number of households is increasing, thus the number of household appliances necessary will also be increasing. However, keep in mind that we've also seen a trend towards online shopping, which is a negative for this industry. So these two are opposing forces in the industry and it's not just a positive from the number of households increasing. There's also a chart below breaking down the products and services sold in this industry. This could be useful if you wanted to evaluate the product mix of your borrower's inventory, or if you just wanted to get an idea of what is actually being sold in this industry. Below this chart is a write-up of each of the product segments. Here, you can read about how each of these segments performed and the outlook for them. Again, helping you determine how well your borrower's product mix fits market dynamics. Then, you'll see factors affecting demand down here, which can help you gauge how the market behaves and how it'll affect your borrower. And below that, you'll also see a breakdown of the market demographics. Here, you can see what demographic makes up what percentage of the market for this industry. And you can also see what kind of products they're likely to purchase in the write-up below. For example, you can see that consumers aged 35 to 54 account for 35.3% of the revenue in 2020, and that the majority of these consumers are employed individuals with steady incomes, and so they're able to freely spend on big ticket items. The write-up also includes some examples, such as TVs, major appliances, and small electrical equipment, such as blenders. This section is very useful for analyzing your borrower's product mix and strategy as it enlightens us on who makes purchases in this industry and what they purchase. Next, you'll see a section commenting on international trade. This section gives us an idea of how the industry is affected by foreign exchange or policy risk. From what we can see, the consumer electronics stores industry isn't directly exposed to any sort of FX or policy risk, but is indirectly exposed through upstream industries in the supply chain. Finally, we have a map of the United States that shows the concentration of businesses in this industry. This map is great for determining if your borrower is operating in the right environments. However, it is important to consider the balance between demand and market saturation from competitors. The write-up below also provides important context breaking down these elements in detail. Next in the report is the competitive landscape section. This is a great section for conducting market analysis. You'll find a lot of things in this section can be applied to business analysis tools, such as Porter's Five Forces or a SWOT analysis. At the top, we have a write-up on market share concentration. As you can see, the concentration in this industry is sitting at a medium level, where the major players of Best Buy and GameStop can make it more difficult for smaller operators to compete on a general product level or carve a niche. However, over 60% of players in the market are smaller players, so there is a stable demand for smaller operators within this industry. One of the most important parts of the report 
are the key success factors. IBISWorld identifies 250 key success factors for a business. These key success factors show what makes a business in this industry perform well. You can use these to evaluate how well a borrower is targeting and fulfilling these success factors to get an idea of how they'll perform going forward. After this are the cost structure benchmarks. This section is useful for comparing your borrower to the industry and the sector. In this case, the sector is the retail trade sector determined by the first two numbers of our NAICS code being 44. This chart breaks down the cost by percentage and this chart is also interactive, so it's toggleable. So if you want to see what their cost structure looks like without purchases, you can turn off purchases and you'll notice that purchases did account for most of the costs in this industry. Below this, you'll see a breakdown of each cost, its trends, and a description of what the cost consists of. You could use this section to look through your borrower's cost structure and compare how theirs lines up with the industry. For example, are they spending more than industry norms on something like marketing? If so, then why? Are they getting a sufficient return on this? After this, there's a section dedicated to competition. This section analyzes what the competitive landscape looks like for the industry. The competition in the consumer electronics stores industry is high and increasing, which may be concerning for our borrower. If they're a new borrower and entrant, we should be asking questions like how they plan on differentiating themselves. Perhaps they'll do it by providing great customer service and tech support for their products. It also looks at external competition or competition from other industries. As we've seen throughout the report, online shopping is a continued and increasing threat for this industry. Then, there are barriers to entry. For this industry, the barriers are medium and steady. On the right, you'll see a checklist breaking down barriers to entry based on competition, concentration, life cycle stage, technology change, regulation and policy, and industry assistance. If our borrower is a new entrant, they may face some challenges breaking into the market. However, if they are an existing and established player, these barriers may be beneficial to them instead. Finally, we have a section on industry globalization where we can see that most participants in this industry are US owned and earn their revenue from domestic operations, showing that it is possible to succeed in home soil. However, an important point to note is that most products are manufactured overseas opening the borrower up to some political risk due to regulations and foreign policy. The next section is the major companies section. This section breaks down and describes the largest players of the industry, where most of the sales are concentrated. This first chart shows the market share of the major players over a five-year historical period. You can see here that the concentration has been relatively flat, though game stops has been decreasing slightly throughout the years. Below is a breakdown of each of the major players, their market share, and their financial performance. Here you can see both Best Buy, as mentioned before, and GameStop as well, as well as a trend line of their market share, where you can see again that GameStops is decreasing over time. Finally, this section ends on some of the smaller, but still significant players. This section is useful if the borrower's industry experiences high concentration, as it allows you to picture how their business will be affected by the major players. It also provides good context for how the industry as a whole operates if you are unfamiliar with it.